we want to find the centroid or center of mass of the region with uniform density given on the coordinate plane. Because we can divide the entire region into three rectangular regions by dividing it here and here, our strategy will be to find the center of mass or centroid of each rectangular region, then find the mass of each rectangular region, and then we can find the centroid of the entire region by treating the rectangular regions as point masses, where the locations will be the centroids of each rectangle, and the masses will be the masses of the rectangles. So let's call this r sub one for rectangle one, r sub two for rectangle two, and r sub three for rectangle three. Because each rectangular region has uniform density, the center of mass would be halfway up and halfway across each rectangle. So if we go halfway up and halfway across, we'd be here, which would be the centroid of this first rectangular region. Notice how the coordinates would be one-half comma two-and-a-half, or one-half comma five-halves. So let's say that P sub one for point sub one is one-half comma five-halves, and the mass of the rectangular region, M sub one, is equal to the area times the density. So we'll use K for the uniform density, and since the area is five square units, M sub one is five K. Looking at the second rectangular region, if we go halfway up and halfway across, we'd be at this point here, three comma one. So P sub two is three comma one, and M sub two would be the mass of the rectangular region, where the density is K and the area is eight square units, so the mass is eight K. And then finally looking at the third rectangular region, if we go halfway up and halfway across, we'd be at this point, where the coordinates would be six comma one and a half, or six comma three halves. And M sub three, the mass of the rectangular region, would be six K. We can also determine the center of mass of these rectangular regions by determining the intersection of the diagonals. And now we'll find the centroid of the entire region, treating these as three point masses. So we'll find the moment about the x-axis, moment about the y-axis, the total mass, and then find the coordinates of the centroid using this formula here. Let's begin by determining the total mass of the system. So we have m equals m sub one plus m sub two plus m sub three, which would be five k plus eight k plus six k, which is nineteen k. Next we'll find the moment about the x-axis. Remember when finding the moment about the x-axis, we use the y-coordinates because the y-coordinates tell us how far the point masses would be from the x-axis. So we'll have five k times five halves plus eight k times one plus six k times three halves. So again we have five k times five halves plus eight k times one plus six k times three halves. And this comes out to 59 k halves. Now we'll find the moment about the y-axis. To find the moment about the y-axis, we use the x-coordinates because the x-coordinates tell us how far the points are from the y-axis. So we'll have five k times one half plus eight k times three plus six k times six. So again, five k times one half plus eight k times three plus six k times six. This sum comes out to 125 k halves. And now we can find the centroid of the entire region, which would be x bar comma y bar. So for x bar, or the x coordinate of the centroid, we'll have the moment about the y axis divided by m, 
which would be 125k halves divided by 19k, comma, for y bar, or the y coordinate of the centroid, we'd have the moment about the x-axis divided by m, which would be 59k halves divided by 19k. Now to simplify this, dividing by 19k is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of 1 over 19k. So we'll simplify this on the next slide. So for x bar we'd have 125k halves times 1 over 19k. The k's simplify out. So we have 125 divided by 38. And then for y bar we have 59k halves times 1 over 19k. And again the k's simplify out, giving us 59 divided by 38. Let's get decimal approximations for these. 125 divided by 38 is approximately 3.289. 59 divided by 38 is approximately 1.553. So the centroid would be 125 divided by 38 comma 59 divided by 38 but to plot this on the coordinate plane, decimal approximations are helpful. It would be 3.289 comma 1.553. So if we plot this point on the coordinate plane, 3.289 is approximately here, 1.553 would be approximately here. So if we think of this rectangular region as a thin plate with uniform density, this is the point where the thin plate would balance. I hope you found this helpful.